cancer clinical trials, which are also called clinical studies, are the way we have to uh, find new ways to prevent, treat, and diagnose cancer. Um, all of the, the treatments that we now consider to be standard today were once tested in clinical trials. When patients volunteer to be part of a clinical trial, um, they're taking part in research and on one hand have the opportunity to gain access to a new therapy, a potential uh, treatment uh, that they might not otherwise have access to uh, for themselves in the hope of personal gain. On the other hand, they're contributing knowledge um, that will help future cancer patients as well and help us develop the new standards of tomorrow. As you talk about clinical trials with your doctor, you may hear your doctor speak of them in terms of phases phase one clinical trial, phase two clinical trial, phase three clinical trial. Each phase of clinical trials has different objectives. A phase one clinical trial is the first time a drug or a combination of drugs are being used in people. And the goal of a phase one study is to determine the optimal dose and schedule and find out the side effects associated with, with new, new treatments. A phase two clinical trial uh, treats a more homogeneous patient population, treats people with a certain disease or certain characteristics of their tumor in order to find out uh, initially, does the treatment work against your type of tumor? That's a phase two study. When discussing a phase three clinical trial, you may hear the term randomization because phase three studies assign patients to the different treatment arms, the different possibilities, the standard therapy or the experimental therapy by chance. A computer program will often make that assignment. When you choose to take part in a phase three study, you are told beforehand what the possibilities are and what the treatment assignments might be. These are often called randomized clinical trials, and they're the final stage in the development of a new treatment before it seeks uh, approval by the FDA. Uh, in a phase three clinical trial, we're often treating hundreds and sometimes thousands of patients to show that the new, pa the new treatment is better than the standard. Clinical trials represent the highest quality cancer care that we can provide. And therefore, I recommend that all patients discuss the options of clinical trials with their doctors. One place where you can get excellent patient-oriented clinical trial information is on cancer.net, www.cancer.net. Uh, cancer.net has information presented as text that you can read about clinical trials, uh, but also video content uh, about clinical trials to answer the questions that you might have uh, about participating in a clinical trial. Um, there is a program on cancer.net called PREACT, uh, which stands for Preparatory Education About Clinical Trials, that you can find uh, at www.cancer.net slash PREACT, P-R-E-A-C-T. The PREACT program will give you access to a video library that addresses the common questions that, that people have uh, about participating in a clinical trial.